What's going on, Halo Okerheads here? At your service, we're talking about Town Hall 10 defenses against Town Hall 11. Some great stuff here. Let's look at this base. This is a base I use, and it is amazing. It really does a good job. Uh, I would say miners are a little bit better on this base, but look at this. I defended against a Town Hall 11, and uh, this was not a shabby, uh, shabby uh, war enemy as well. Very solid clan. And he is bringing in the bowler strategy with the queen. Not the greatest start, uh, but then again, you know, he still has um, lots of things going for him. Obviously, max troops, except for his hero levels. But with that Grand Warden ability, it's so powerful. But what happened here and why this base is a little deceptive, see the bowlers can get, there's kind of these uh, long compartments. As you can tell, the bowlers are just kind of circling that area instead of the most majority did not go down into the core. And the thing is, once they get in the core, you can tell there are some traps down by that dark elixir storage. That's where I have some double giant bombs at kind of at the end of the, or when they're in the middle of the base and that way, Either bowlers or miners will get taken out. Again, since the funnel wasn't created on the sides, it was kind of difficult to. Uh, what happened is is a fail. And I do have the Tesla farm, as you can tell, to the west there. So, you know, very difficult base. A lot of str people struggle with this base, and it's a good solid base. So try it out. Give it a go, and I think it'll go well for you, especially at Town Hall 10. I mean, Town Hall 10s, I don't know if I've been three-starred in a long time at Town Hall 10. I can't remember the last one um, for that. So it's just a deceptive base at that. So very proud of that defense from the Town Hall 11. I mean, especially now, and that was pre-update. That attack, I think, was pre-update as far as the healers and the air mines not even hitting them. So here is another attack using bowlers as well. And this is a maxed attacker. So he starts off... Um, with kind of a king walk or queen walk i i don't think he intended that um he dropped the king first which was not good and he didn't bring wall breakers so a poor start at that um his heroes kind of got sidetracked they didn't really do much the healers are taken out as well by that air defense so this was not a great attack um you know sometimes you just you know when the raid starts um it um you know a few mistakes happen you get nervous and then you make more mistakes and then it fails so a lot of times on this base people like to come in from the hero side i have noticed obviously they don't know where my uh, tesla farm is if they knew where the tesla farm is you would hit that first it's uh, especially because later on in the raid, it really does a lot of damage. Uh, so coming in from the side area, I don't think that's the best strategy to take down this base. I think coming in on one angle um, and trying to hit one side of the base first. There are those double giant bombs right there. The king, I um, mean those, uh, the king uh, is chasing those uh, giants there. So another failed attack from a town hall eleven. Yes, this wasn't the greatest attack, but again, this is a deceptive base. A lot of people in our clan have said. Um, it's hard to do queen walks on the base. Um, so give it a go. Try it out. I'm going to give you some other Town Hall 10 defenses. This is another Town Hall 10 max defense um, right here, except for the Inferno Towers. Again, these are these anti-bowler bases, and they're just really tough to crack. I mean, they're really hard to break down. There's a lot of compartments. The bowlers can easily get sidetracked if you don't funnel them properly. And he here, you know, he, he didn't do a terrible job, but... Uh, not wide enough on the bowlers. So the king again goes to the outside. But nonetheless, he hit most of his bowlers, you can tell, are going to the core. Um, and some get a little sidetracked, actually. So again, funneling issues. Uh, I guess that's the main cause of that. But again, these anti-bowler bases, these kind of spread out bases, it's hard to funnel. So it's another deceptive thing against these attacks. Um, I like these two type of bases. They are very difficult. As you can tell, look at those air defenses. They're with, not within range of a queen walk. Very important when you're trying to do a base design. Uh, uh, you know, we didn't, uh, these are very common bases. Um, some people use them, a lot of people don't still. I see a lot of clan, um, clan wars and you still have these trophy type bases. The only reason a trophy base would work as if you know the attacker is garbage <laughs> or, or or you're trying to go um, against an anti two star base so maybe you don't want them to get the two star you want them just to get the one star um, so you know difficult at that 
Here is another Town Hall 11 versus Town Hall 10. This time, it's a three-star attack. I just want to show you this because their attacker, again, was solid. Um, and it goes to show at the Town Hall 11 level, any level, funneling is key and critical. This time, he able was able to get it done. And because of that, this raid is over. All the bowlers, all the giant, I mean, the giants and the core and the king, everything was in the core. Total destruction. This base will not work now again I, this base is a little different than the one i had as you can tell there's not many like compartments for the bowlers to get sidetracked so or valkyries if you bought valkyries so it's important when your base design you know kind of make it um where you have those kind of compartments where bowlers can split off and not stay grouped together. I'm going to speed it up. He does get the three star um, just for sake of time. Um, he will get the rest of this base. As you can tell, he's got plenty of troops left. Queen ability at that. So great attack from there. So 